the National High School Cheerleading Championship, certain teams have standout skills that make them masters of the mat. We found our favorites in stunts, tumbling, pyramids, and basket tosses, and caught up with these top teams to find out how they mastered these skills. Sink tumbling is a must to max out score sheets, but getting to that point is no easy task. Hamilton Southeastern is known for their incredible tumbling. How does practice play a role in your great synchronization? Well, three days out of the week, we have 5.45 a.m. morning practices. In the tumbling that we do in morning practices, we do it as a team, and we're expected to do tumbling at, in the morning as well as at our football games all together as a team, so that really helps getting our synchronization down. So you're practicing all day on your tumbling. Abby, take me through some of the tumbling and your entire routine. Well, we start out with team double toe touch, back handspring tucks, and then we turn around and I'll do cartwheel back tucks to the back. And then we all do round up I can't speak pulls coming forward as a team. And then we also like to do standing tucks as a squad in the cheer because they're crowd effective and it's tradition that we do them at football games when we score. And don't forget, you have to yell for your teammates. National champions Vestavia Hills are always known for their creative ins and outs in their pyramids when it comes to the Super Varsity Division. And Grace, can you talk us through your pyramid this year? Yes. We start off with two trick flyers who are in squishy positions and they are tossed into a tuck jump and land with one leg and then those bases throw them up into a switch leg kick and then after that the bases switch with a full up grip and pull them around to a bump hitch and then from there bump them down to a squish, toss them over to a flyover to a new stunt group and from there they're put into a lib, tick tock to a stretch. It really seems like y'all have stepped up the difficulty this year. But one thing I really want to know is where do you get your inspiration and ideas from? Well, we have a wonderful coach, Leah Milam, who works with our choreographer, Mark, to bring um, new and creative things that we can do each year into our pyramid. Like this year, our flyers actually become the basis of the second half of our pyramid. Granite Hills High School has a pretty lady kick double basket in their routine. It's one of the hardest baskets in high school cheerleading. Tell me, what did it take to become a master of this skill? Ultimately, it takes time, basics, technique, like for the basics, we do straight rides and then quarter turn and then a kick single and then a kick double. You have to make sure that you have those mastered before you go on to another skill that's harder and ultimately time. That's awesome. Can you walk me through that basket? First we load in and then we go straight up and then we do the quarter turn and then we hit the hitch and then the kick and then we double down. Granite Hills High School, true masters of the mat when it comes to baskets. When it comes to Kamehameha, they may be small, but when they step out on the mat, their presence is maximized. One thing that Kamehameha is known for is their single base stunts. Tell me what you've done this year to up the difficulty. Well, at the beginning of the season, we went to UCA summer camp, is that where we first started working our single base stunts. In the beginning of the season, we started off a little bit at an easier pace. We did elevators, extensions, libs, and by nationals and states, we turned it into a full up press stretch 360. And it definitely shows your progression and how well you're doing. But one thing that everyone wants to know is how does Kamehameha get the stamina? What do you do for conditioning to be able to push up those single bases? We start our season during the summer. Mostly we try to get into the weight room twice a week. So we do a lot of weights and then we run before and after practice. Mostly sprints after like conditioning. We do a lot of ladders. We also like push each other as much as we can to get this routine through. And in the end it comes out great. Best of luck to these teams and all of the teams competing here at the championship. Stay tuned for more on Varsity TV.